welcome dragon rebel here I promised that I would do uh, my ipsy bag video unboxing my ipsy and just sharing what I happen to got happen to have got <laughs> uh, first of all let's start with the bag oh my goodness I love the design of this bag the last one that I got that I really liked was the galaxy print that was really cool too but I really love the colorful and just edgy design to this um, and I've been doing Ipsy for a little over a year now and I've been satisfied with all of my bags um, I don't always love everything that I get and do I love the design of every bag I don't but I have been satisfied with it um, I love getting to try new products, some of uh, the brands I've never heard of, and because of Ipsy, most of the time, I don't even have to buy, like, the full size of, uh, you know, say, bronzers, recently highlighters, or anything like that, because Ipsy tends to provide me with those things. Um, I will occasionally, if I absolutely love an item, will buy it full size, and pay the high-end prices I've mentioned before recently. Um, let's get into what I got in my bag. First of all, I have gotten this. I am kind of curious about this one because I'm not big on body scrubs. It's not an item I use very often. Maybe the only item in the bag I'm not excited about, to be honest. Like I said, I don't love everything I get. But I'm usually satisfied with every single my, one of my bags so far. I do love coffee scented stuff. Uh, candles, and I have used other coffee scented products before. And I just, I, I love coffee in general. Anybody who knows me, I love coffee and wine. Those are my two favorites. Um, but, still kind of not sure about this one. The other products that I'm excited about, and satisfied with I have gotten X formula before and I can't really honestly give well I can't give an honest review on nail polishes usually because one of the kind of work that I do I as you can see I hardly have any nails to begin with because I break them constantly and the nail polish chips and on my toes well even the drugstore brands, the cheapest brands, they'll last forever on my toes. So it's kind of hard to give an honest review on nail polishes, but I'm I'm digging this color. It's probably not a color I would have bought for myself. I think I may have even received one time a similar color, but I really like this brand. I also got this one, and at first, I'm kind of not sure about the color. I have used this one, um, and I love the way that it smells. The color was, I wasn't sure, but my boyfriend really loved the color on me, so that says a lot. Um, I think it'd be more appropriate for, you know, like, during the summertime, one, because of the wonderful pina colada, coconut kind of scent. Somebody else agreed, or she mentioned it before I even said anything, but I had been thinking it, was it also smells like suntan lotion, which I love the smell of that. So if you don't like the smell of that, just be forewarned. Um, so between the scent and the color, I think it looks good on uh, skin, like, you know, if you have your skin tone or whatever and you got a little sun already otherwise I don't know that I would wear this color too much most nude colors tend to you know light pinks and stuff have washed me out and I have not those products I've received from Ipsy I've not been satis with, satisfied with before but this one was alright I and I love how it's very moisturizing so that was also another plus but this one so it'll probably be a summer color I'll end up using a lot. And I've also got this three-tone bronzer by Crown. 
this one is not a company I'm familiar with. Um, I did go ahead and use this one as well. So you're getting a review on some of the items. Um, there's two of them I will have to do a, a review on and I'll review everything in one video at a later time once I've had a chance to review everything. But I love the colors. I Once I used it, the pigmentation didn't seem uh, very strong, like they're weak in the pigmentation, but that might be a good thing. Uh, it makes it better for like every day, like when you're just, you know, need a little bit something, but you're not wanting to go heavy drama on your makeup or something, and for the summertime. Uh, and the highlighter is not very, very strong. Um, pigmentation, again, like I said, either the bronzer a little bit, but the highlighter, not so much. Now, granted, let's see if I can, yeah, I don't know if you can see that in my very poor video lighting, but yeah, you can barely see it. So if you're just starting out with highlighters, much like myself, and you're not sure you really want too much iridescence on your face or you got oily skin and that you know you this one might be perfect I still really love this and I see myself using this a lot especially right now in the summertime like I said and I don't wear a lot of heavy makeup usually for work so this might be good my only other maybe complaint but it's not that important it's still usable is the size of it's really small and most of the brushes that I have are not that small now one of the ones I'm really really excited about is the new Urban Decay eyeshadow and I don't know reasons I don't like lip gloss okay <laughs> is Urban Decay's new iridescent it's peachy pink fireball eyeshadow they also had the lounge that they gave out to some others really really would like to get that one as well and I think there was like two or three other colors now Avon years ago came out with colors like this and I loved them but Urban Decay's is even better it's more iridescent than even Avon's was because I have a peachy pink that uh, Avon had that was like this and um, I just I love these colors they're so much fun and I wore it by itself like she demonstrated in a video for Ipsy um, and just you know it was perfect for work yesterday just a little color but not too too much um, I as I am able to afford them have every intention of collecting all the colors that I want from this collection so um that's what I got in my bag like I said I'll okay I'll give a full review uh in another video once I've gotten to try everything thank you again for watching uh subscribe to join the layer if you've enjoyed this video if you ever hear uh something that you can relate to and remember to be true to yourself always